All right, so here's what we got today. We got this little handy dandy cage hook. I know this might not seem like a lot to a lot of people and this might seem pretty basic, but um, there's a couple things that I ran into when I was looking for one of these. Uh, first off, this is where we got it from. Okay, Wild Designs 3D printing. So it is a 3D, uh, it is a 3D part. Meaning with it being a 3D part that it is plastic okay so it is extremely lightweight um you know which i know a lot of y'all are not picky about weight but that is i mean if you're picky about weight i mean it don't weigh nothing uh second off it is a uh, veteran owned small business so you're helping support a small business which is always amazing and third off is the direction of the screws okay so when you're starting to look for uh steering wheel hooks or helmet hooks I have noticed that a lot of companies do not pay attention for whatever reason to the way the um, the bolts go. And that is something I had to consider when even when I was mounting this. So this one, obviously, you'll see some companies that, you know, your hook's going to be on the inside like this. And then the bolts would need to be, you know, put in from this side, which would be a pain in the butt. So this one's nice that the bolts are put in from this side and that, you know, you can just mount it right to your bar. It's also nice that it comes in multiple colors. So I ordered this one for a silver and I mean, it matches relatively um, well to the interior. So we're going to get this thing mounted up here and uh, get it bolted on and the price point. This thing came in on eBay, I think, at the cheapest one literally listed online. Uh, eBay is worldwide, so it's safe to say when I purchased this, this was the cheapest um, hook in the whole entire world. So, and cheap's not always, does not always mean bad quality, so don't get that confused. But let's put this in and try it out. So to install this, it, do, it is an Allen head, and the size that we are using is going to be a 2.5 millimeter um, T-handle. When you take this apart, um, there is some nice nut certs uh, put inside the plastic. Uh, so you're not, it's not just a piece of plastic that they have threaded and you're screwing into the plastic or something cheap like that. So it is a pretty good quality on how it attaches together. So whenever you put it on, the uh, screws do just barely have enough thread that you can get it attached. And then being as plastic, I do, my roll bar is, uh, my, or my cage is, um, uh, hammered paint in the brush on style rust-oleum so it's not like it's powder coated which a lot of us you know diy low budget guys uh, we did use the rust-oleum you can uh, slide this thing like i'm showing you right now okay you can wiggle it slide it turn it twist it with it loose and it doesn't damage your your paint so even though we don't have real durable powder coated cages uh, we can still move this thing and adjust this thing and then uh, they have designed it being as a 3d printed part that it doesn't tear up um, it does not tear up your uh, finish on your cage hey and once you have it put in spot where it is you know i haven't tightened the piss out of it uh, there's a tiny gap in between there that i have left um, you know i have squished a lock ring you have a lock or a lock washer right there so it's definitely engaged and you can actually see that i can uh, you know bend the piece or wiggle the piece and it does not wiggle on here so she's mounted very firm and i mean it's not like it it's not like it does a lot anyway so you don't need to get carried away and then you just simply take your steering wheel and it'll go right on that and hang just like that for you so hopefully that helps somebody out if you want to get your steering wheel out of your floor uh it's uh you know just called a cage hook so you can even use it for your helmet um i think i'll definitely be ordering another one from them uh for you know the helmet for the other side but this is perfect and even when you pull on it like it doesn't it it, it does it moves a little it has a little bit of movement to it but it's not it's not like flint like i say i don't feel like it's going to break or anything so and just steering wheels light anyway most of us do have lightweight steering wheels and when the car is driving most of us have our steering wheels on anyway so uh you know for the helmet i think it'd be perfectly fine also um you know but yeah uh overall uh i'm extremely happy with that purchase especially for the uh price point i'll put link in the description i'm not getting paid in no way shape or form uh to go over this product just trying to bring y'all something that could really help you out really cheap light on the wallet and a good overall design like comment share subscribe thanks y'all another thing i do like about putting it the hook in the center just a little idea for placement on y'all is that you can still see your dash easily so if you're walking up to your car like this 
you can still see your dash for your data you know if you have the motor running or something it's not like steering wheels in your way whereas if you put the steering wheel more over here you know it's hanging like this it could you you could potentially be looking around your steering wheel which is not a big deal at all but that just it's a little helpful putting it more towards the center plus it keeps it out of your room you know when you're getting in and out of the car it keeps it where it's not you know right in your face it's kind of more towards the center but it's still uh, away from your switch panel in the top enough